Hi, my name is Brendan and I'm going to show you the Media 1.2.2 release and uh, how it works on Cocom hardware. So I'm just going to boot up my Thatcher 277 board. So this is a Groveland C4200 unit and uh, hopefully it should be quite quickly. And it, this release should also work on the C4100, the Churchill units and also possibly on the C5300, the Cameron units. Uh, this release also supports the Cocom tri-tuners and the uh, NEC remote controls. That's both on the C42 and the C4100. Um, it works slightly better on the Thatcher units, on Churchill units, but it, it should work on both fairly well. So, here we have uh, Amiga 1.2.2 starting, you'll see Amiga DM, so you'll see a nice little Amiga wallpaper and then hopefully XBMC will start, so this is an XBMC 11 release so here's the wallpaper and yeah, we have XBMC so here it starts and it's fairly smooth um, it's running a lot nicer than other releases, if you do want it to run a little faster you can run it under open box set of mutter that should bring performances right up um, so I'll just show you a little quick video uh, in this release what I've done is I've added some of the GST plugins bad and ugly codecs so you can actually play a few more things uh, by default you've only got the hardware accelerated MPEG-2, H64 and DivX codecs and that means that you can't play any of the uh, AC3 or, Dolby Dig uh, or DTS codecs so that really limits what kind of movies and stuff you can play so here's something running with the um, I, think, I think it's AC3 so it's not running in pass through but it's decoding it and wiring its PCM via the SPD output um, so okay, we have sound and there's a little menu that can be open with a remote control and we have a little bit of playback control so yeah fairly standard we can navigate through the menus uh, you'll notice the button mapping on the remote controller is not ideal but it, it works and uh, yeah you can do other things um, yeah well everything works the picture stuff is a lot faster than before so that's worth having a look at if you have some pictures and another nice thing on a C4200 is power control now works properly so you can actually power it off and it, it should go off nicely um, so that's it really you can uh, have a look at the kickstart image and build your own image it's pretty easy and doesn't really take all that long, so uh, good luck.